Hey, what's going on, Freedom Earth? All right, so um, I was, you know, reading, um, sleeping and reading, uh, Law of Attraction um, and Money by Jester Hicks. And I woke up with this idea of why I need to believe in myself. Be I woke up with the idea that success is not hard. I don't like that word, but it's difficult enough. So because success is difficult enough, the worst thing you could do is not believe in yourself. And the best thing you could do is believe in yourself. And you have to find the things that fuel your belief, which is like David e. Miata say, the words you use, meaning also um, meaning the information, the in, in form and action. Um, the images you see and the environment you're in. And I think for the first time in my life, I'm realizing that I have all three under my control. My environment, the words I can speak, and um, the words I can speak, and, and words, images, yeah, and the images I can see. And as I, as that is in my control, meaning nobody, like, like my parents is dictating any of those things. And the most I have to deal with is outside people. But they, I only deal with them on the jurisdiction that on my accord. Nobody in my life I have to deal with. Um, too much. And I sat with myself and I realized not only does it cost you too much to believe in yourself, here's what that means. It, it's, it's not worth it in the end. When you realize what it costs not to believe in your own abilities, not to believe in your own greatness, not to believe in your own skills, not to believe in your own mindset, not to believe in your own Not to believe in you. It costs too much. It costs way too much. And when you realize it costs too much to not believe in you. you realize you can't afford to do it anymore. And, um, that's why I'm deciding to really believe in my abilities and take the time to study, grow my patience, and execute because, because it, it literally, it costs too much. It costs too much to not take you seriously. It costs too much not to do right by you, it costs too much. It costs too much. It costs too much of everything. It costs you bad relationships, it costs you abusive relationships, it costs you um, low, low, it cost you
it'll cost you poor finances, it'll cost you um, poor financial excuse, poor financial mistakes, it'll cost you making children with the wrong person, it'll cost you being in an environment that doesn't serve you, it'll cost you not achieving your goals, it'll, ch it'll cost you an unhappy life. Like one of the core ways to really be unhappy is have low confidence. And I'm learning that, like I said earlier, success is difficult enough. And one of the main reasons why success is difficult is because a lot of the times when it comes to your success, you have to do things whether you feel like it or you don't. And that's what makes things, that's what makes success extremely difficult in failure. Failure, you get to do things only when you feel like it. Success, and, I, and I've learned this in many accords, like in my online career. Like if there were in certain days, if I didn't show up and I didn't feel like it, I wouldn't have made a sale that day. And failure does not cost you that. Failure makes leaves it to be okay to say, oh, if I don't feel like it today, my stomach hurts, I'm not showing up. Failure says it's okay to say, failure says it's okay to not get the tools, the research, the equipment, the mentors necessary, the books, the the stickers all over the wall not to write the vision board failure doesn't require that of you failure almost requires the complete opposite no vision board no books no environments no no um no nothing and failure has such a low standard of life like when you watch somebody who's not who's not successful, you realize like the low standard of life that they live. And you look at their productivity, you look at their calendar, it ain't filled with much. Um, you look at their bank account, it ain't much. And because one of the first steps of at success is to do things whether you feel like it or not. Not believing in your abilities costs too much. It costs too much. Because if you have to get up and let's say, for instance, going to the gym, like I did today. If you have to go to the gym, whether you feel like it or not, to lose those 30 pounds, it costs too much for you not to believe in your own ability to lose weight. Now, after I get off this live, I have to go research. I have to go study the courses that I've been sitting on and and all the lives I've been sitting on, all the books and all the stuff that I've been sitting on because I chose not to believe in my own abilities. And when you don't believe in your own abilities, for instance, you'll stack a whole bunch of courses and you won't watch them. You won't finish them. You won't. Um, and you let your impatience get the best of you think you know it all. Because you don't really believe. You believe to the extent you get results. But to that extent that you get results is really a reflection of how you believe. Not necessarily that you're not good enough. It's just that you don't believe any higher. So because you don't believe any higher. Um, you don't achieve anymore. Um, and yeah, that, but that's why I chose to really, from today forward, to really believe in my own abilities because it, it just, it just costs too much at the end of the day. It costs too much. It's like being a criminal, not believing yourself. I would say this last but not least, it puts you in position to be a prisoner.
period. Instead of being free and living your own life under your own terms. Now, we all have to deal with our challenges and our, tri and our tribulations, but... We all have to do with our trials. We all have to do with our tribulations. But when you don't believe in your own skills and your own abilities, your own talents, your own gifts, your own work ethic, you choose to be a prisoner of your own life. 